Hi there guys, welcome back to the original Assetto Corsa. We're just checking out some phenomenal work being done from a, a man who's just as passionate about our sim racing as we are, SPR Sim Racer. He's been doing some great work on some Gen 3 liveries for the VRC Trans Am Chev and Mustang. And he's been pumping them out the last couple of days. Let's have a look at a few now. And we'll start off with a few Camaros. Uh, obviously these are not supposed to be exact replicas of the current Gen 3 liveries. They are a representation of what's currently available. They look absolutely fantastic. Look at the detail he's done here. All the sponsorships on there looking absolutely brilliant. Onto the Red Bull Ampol car there. Looking really, really nice. Certainly something I can't do, so I'm glad someone like him is uh, doing this sort of work. You can see the AI there. All over the shop there at turn 5. We can take note as well, he's also changed the wheels and the rims uh, to a VR supercar style wheel as opposed to the more NASCAR style wheel that comes out with the VRC car. Again, still tweaking with that a little bit to get the dimensions right, but they look absolutely fantastic. It really helped to make the car into more of a V8 supercar style car uh, as opposed to a NASCAR looking beast. So through the super fast left and right hand, really hard to control these cars through there. Really, really slippery and sketchy on the brakes. And making our way up to the uh, newly reprofiled, it used to be turn 13, it's probably turn 11 now. They've taken out the other couple of uh, corners. Again, tightens up more than it looks when you approach it. Really easy to spear off to the left hand side there. And these cars are super long in the brake pedal. Uh, as you can see here, just slightly run it off at the second last corner. Really hard to get pulled up until you get used to it. And also only having the four gears as well. Uh, a bit hard to slow down even with the gears. So on the front straight, we'll have a look at some of the uh, the Mustangs now. Uh, so there's definitely more liveries to come in the next few days. So uh, here's the Snow River car driven by James Courtney at the moment. A beautiful cash shop, probably one of my favourites. I love that green colour. Uh, absolutely beautiful car, and there's the shell. I'm also in the sister car for the Shell V Power Mustang, and this is another Camaro there added this afternoon. The Coca Cola car, so I said definitely more liveries to come. All these will at some point make their way onto race department, uh, but I will link you his uh, YouTube page uh, in the description below so you can follow uh, his work. You will have a bit of a promo video up, I believe, later on today. And so, next few days, we'll be uh, looking forward to maybe completing the set. This is just a bit of a sneak preview. I've been given the pleasure of having a look at uh, this afternoon, so I really appreciate SPR Sim Racer letting me uh, have a look at the work he's done. Um, really great to see guys who are so passionate about this sort of stuff out there. And we'll certainly get us through that wait until someone does an actual Gen 3 supercar. Uh, I know there's one coming for R Factor 2 from the FVR boys. Uh, that's just sort of getting worked on at the moment, getting tweaked as they get more data from the first few rounds of the real world racing. Uh, but until then, this is what we have uh, can sort of get us through, um, modifying some similar V8 style cars with some beautiful liveries of the current Gen 3 cars. So I'll leave you with that guys, uh, so I'll link everything in the description below to SPR Sim Racers uh, pages, and uh, hopefully you can check it out and uh, support the man on the stuff he's doing. Thanks for watching.